Our first recipe is going to be mini apple crostatas. A crostata is a small free-formed pie. It doesn't have to be small, sometimes they're big, but we're going to make minis today and they're going to be little mini apple crostatas. First, we're going to start off by making the dough because that needs to chill in the refrigerator. So in my food processor, I've got two cups of all-purpose flour. Oops, didn't quite get it all out. About half a teaspoon of regular salt. And I've got something here called apple pie spice. If you don't have it, don't go out and buy it special. You can just use a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and maybe a little bit of clove or ginger. Depends on what you like. So I'm gonna use maybe a half a teaspoon in there. And I'm gonna put the top on and get those dry ingredients mixed up. And now I'm going to add one cup, which is two sticks, a very cold butter cut into cubes. And what we want to do is get this into a crumbly mixture, not a paste. There we go. Nothing more than that. Now what I have is one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar more apple flavor, and a half a cup of regular whole milk. The apple cider vinegar is gonna make the dough very tender and flaky. So we'll add that, and then we'll add our milk. I don't wanna over process it, so I just wanna Get it until it starts to come together as a mess. Now I have a piece of plastic wrap and I'm going to form this into a ball and I'm going to cover it in the plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for about half an hour or longer, but at least a half an hour. And then while that's in the refrigerator, I'll show you how to make the streusel that's going to become part of this recipe. So, there we go, into the fridge. While the dough is chilling in the refrigerator, we're going to make the streusel topping because we're going to make the dough, put an apple on it, put some streusel on it, and then close it up. It's gonna be delicious, really. Uh, and you can use this particular streusel recipe on top of cupcakes, on top of muffins. It works well for a lot of different things. This is one cup of white flour. It's a dump recipe. Everything's going in at once. Half a teaspoon of salt. This is a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar. One third of a cup of white sugar. And a little half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Maybe just a little bit more, I like cinnamon. Okay. And then we have one stick of cold butter cubed. No one said this was a diet recipe. Two sticks in the dough, one stick in the streusel, and then we'll kind of have some more. So now what we want to do is just process it until it becomes mealy. You don't want to paste. And that's it, that's our streusel. I'm going to put it in another bowl and put it aside. This can stay at room temperature for now. I'm gonna put that aside and when we're ready to form then we'll bring it back and use it then. The streusel is done. Now we're gonna prepare the apples. This is the last step before we actually go and roll the dough. So I've got some gala apples, gala? Or is it gala? I don't know, G-A-L-A -A apples. Anyways, they're very good. What I'm going to do is peel and core them. And here is a, an apple corer. If you don't have one, you can use a regular knife and, and cut it out. I'm sure you've done that before, but this is so much easier. And you get the whole core, nothing left inside. And then we're going to peel it. These are small apples, but these are small pastries, so you really don't want a big, gigantic apple. So this is probably just perfect size for this uh, pastry. 
And um, I'm thinking I'll need probably four apples. I've already done one. Now I'm gonna cut off these ends because they tend to be a little bit smaller. And this is for me and the camera guy. Cut off those two ends. And then I've already got one apple done. That one's just a little bit too big. I don't want them too, too thick. This is probably a good thickness right here. They will bake just like a normal apple pie bakes in an oven, so they will bake. Now the hardest part about this apple core is getting this core out of the core, but I'm sure that you'll find a way to do yours. Okay. Next apple. There are apple rings. I'm gonna put these aside next to the streusel, clean up my deck, then get the dough out and we can start putting our crostatas together. Our dough is chilled. Now it's time to roll it out. Something I'm going to need is to make a round circle. So I got this dish. It's supposed to be like a five inch diameter dish. This is just a little bit bigger than five inches. So I'm gonna get probably a couple less of the uh, pastries. But I figure if I were to put that in the center and then fold it in, it would be just about right. So hopefully it'll work out the way I want it to. So, I'm gonna put some flour down. I also have a couple of cookie sheets nearby that are lined with uh, parchment paper or silpat, or you can just lightly grease a regular cookie sheet. I think you could also do this on an aluminum foil lined sheet. I don't think that would make any difference. I've never tried that. See how much colder it gets. It's getting a little harder to roll. Try not to roll it more than maybe two times. You could probably go the third time, but each time you roll it, it will get tougher. And you want this to be kind of thin. Now, if you could see the dough up close, you would see that it has pockets of butter in the dough. That is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what you want to see because that's going to make it. When it gets in the oven and the heat hits that butter, it's just going to go like this and expand the dough and make it nice and flaky. I'm not getting a very good shape here, but we'll do our best. You know, you can do this a hundred times and they come out perfectly. And the moment you turn the camera on, Let's try one and see how that works. So I will take my bowl, put it as close to the end as possible when you get the most cuts. There's one. Bring over one of my cookie sheets and see if I can't do this in front of you. An apple slice. Oh, excuse me. Can't forget. I've got a little bit of melted butter in here. So the first thing you want to do is butter the circle all the way to the ends. Take your apple slice. Get your streusel. Some streusel on top. You're gonna to have a lot of streusel left over, but this will keep in your refrigerator for about a week. And you can do it on muffins or cupcakes. Now, this way you bring up the side 
and pinch in and turn, pinch. Just keep going around, turning it over on the apple, kind of pushing it down. So you want to partially cover the apple. And there you have your first little crostata. You will brush the dough again. It doesn't hurt if a little butter gets on that streusel. And then another favorite thing is that I have is this coarse sugar. You don't have to use coarse sugar. If you have it, you can use it. You can use just regular uh, granulated sugar or as I have used in past programs, vanilla sugar, which is really, really good. So just sprinkle it on, it'll stick to the butter. And there you have one crostata. So what I will do, I'll just keep making a whole bunch of them until I fill up my trays. And then we'll bake them in a 350, 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes to 35 minutes. But time to get back to work. Well, I finished putting together my crostatas and I got a dozen. Just finishing up the last tray with some sugar after I buttered them. My oven is heating up until 375 degrees. And when it gets there, I'm going to put these in for approximately 30 minutes. I'm going to check them at 25 and every couple of minutes after that. They may take as long as 35 minutes. You want them to get nice and brown so they look like a nice apple pie. And you want to make sure that that apple is soft so maybe a little toothpick or a skewer in there to test it. So when they come out of the oven, I'll show you how they look. Here are our apple crostatas, hot out of the oven, a little too warm to eat right now. They are good warm, just as good at room temperature. They are going to be very flaky. You're going to like them. I hope you try them.